So this is the alarm screen with here the alarm viewer of PC view. This alarm viewer is a tool um, uh, which can be inserted in any screen in your project. You can insert as many alarm viewer as you need for your project. Uh, different information displayed here. Uh, all these informations are fully customable for each alarm viewer. For example, here we have timestamp, uh, status of alarm, description, and different um, information here, like such as the, the priorities. Different colors are possible depending on the priorities and depending on the status <coughs> of the alarm. Here from the menu bar you can filter uh, what you want to see. Uh, for example here I just want to see alarm uh, not acknowledged. It's also possible to filter from here depending on different domain um, and nature and also from different priorities levels. So here I do have uh, a filter on fire temperature. Also two different modes to display um, alarms. Here um, as you can see I have one line with a different status for this alarm. So this is the least mode. I can switch to um, real-time mode and then I have one line for each status. So here this is the uh, real-time mode, here this is the list mode. It's possible to um, customize your button if you need. So here um, it's a filter button and you can also change the mode. And as you can see um, here you have counters to count the number of uh, real-time alarm. So if I just reset the um, display, so here I just trigger two fire alarms here to electricity alarm and here to water alarm. So this is a real-time counter for alarms. It's also possible uh, on click to display a specific mimic. It could be also um, a call to a web page to um, uh, product information about uh, this alarm could be almost anything you need uh, to link when you click on the alarm. And once again all is fully configurable here you can select the column you want to display with different substitution characters and you can select different properties here. Note that it's possible to print all the alarm from uh, the viewer as well. So this is the trend viewer um, in PC view. So here you do have uh, the trend viewer. It's possible to insert as many trend viewer tool as you need in your project. Um, and it's also possible to uh, customize everything in this viewer. So basically here we have uh, two variables, trend level uh, and trend level two, here uh, with automatic values. As you can see there's a threshold on this one, it's orange here and when you reach a threshold then it's yellow over the threshold and orange below the threshold and the threshold line is uh, here in dash uh, point. You can define a scale as well, it's possible to also define <coughs> uh, if you want to display or not a trend. Uh, here you uh, are in real-time mode, so you have the real-time value for the trend. 
it's possible to switch to historical mode here and so here you are in historical mode for the latest points but you can select from here uh, not from here sorry from here you can request historical data so historical data are uh, from the database where all the data are recorded and <clears throat> so by selecting a range period you can just display the data so here there's no data uh, let's say maybe okay so here is the data from uh, past one past hour and you can switch back to runtime mode it's also possible to uh, right click and um, so in pause mode you right click and select the cursor just to uh, check value and the date, date and time you also have a target cursor to see a point from a specific uh, location on your uh, your screen it's also possible from a display of uh, variable here to right click on the value and automatically paste and display the value on the uh, on the trend viewer here so this is the new curve from this value which is very handy you can also customize the uh, historical request with a specific button here to uh, select the value so this is the log viewer so this viewer uh, has all other viewers in PC View can be inserted in many screens uh, on your project. Uh, it's a viewer of recorded events. So when you declare a database in PC View, you also declare a log list, which is basically a filter of events to be recorded um, in the project. And then you can uh, display all these uh, events through this log viewer so it looks like an alarm viewer but don't be fooled here it's not uh, a real-time viewer it's an historical viewer so you uh, need to refresh the display to uh, to see the latest event different information displayed here uh, date and time the event uh, description domain and nature current and last value when you set um, a register and the user so for example here uh, if I trigger a threshold and I refresh the screen here I do have the register send so I send the value uh, H4 was previously 50 and I do have an alarm for a threshold at value H4 uh, the um, temperature control has been uh, modified by the admin user. It's also possible to add a comment. Here, if I click on this button, I can add the command. Um, alarm under control. And if I refresh the screen, then I do have here um, <coughs> the alarm uh, my, my comment for this alarm alarm under control it's also possible to uh, log a text here my text okay so um, here we do have all the events recorded into the database and it's also possible to filter um, with a period of time. 